Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. I am Sananda. I come to be with you at this time, in these times now where so much is happening all around you. But where you are being guided more and more and more to find yourself in the moment, and not to focus on the past or to look only to the future, but to be in the moment. And allow everything that is going on in the third dimensional expression in the illusion to be exactly that, just an illusion. For some of you, when you walk around in your daily activities around where people are, whether in your shopping centers, or your grocery stores, or wherever it might be, and you are walking around other people, does it not seem like an illusion at times, does it not seem quite surreal at times? Because in those moments, you are interdimensionally traveling, if you will. You can be in one dimension, which you are at that point. If you are feeling joy, if you are feeling joy, if you are feeling happiness, if you are feeling cognitive about your world, your own personal world, then you are in a higher dimensional frequency at that point. And everything around you seems surreal, seems like just an illusion that you are walking in a different dimensional frequency while others are in their own dimensional frequency in a lower dimensional frequency. Not all, of course. Some are also doing exactly as you are doing, but you would not necessarily know that unless you focus on that individual directly. And that can happen because of attraction process. Light attracts light. High vibration attracts high vibration. And you will find that more and more in your life as you move along here that you will be attracted to those that are of the same vibration as you are. And those that are of lower vibrational frequency will no longer hold attraction to you. Friends, family members, all of this is the great divide that is happening. The chasm, if you will, that is creating a division across the entire world, your own world I speak of now. Not so much the collective world but your world is in its dividing moment. Now that does not mean that you are not unity consciousness, that you are not connected to everyone, for you are. You are all brothers and sisters together. You are all one together. But the vibrational frequency is creating a chasm that is dividing you apart, and that is okay. That is what is expected to happen. Do not focus on that division, though. Do not focus on being divided from your brother and sister, whether it is from the country you live in now, or from other countries across the world, other races, other religions, whatever it might be. Yes, there is division. But that is not to be focused on. Focus instead on the love of brother and sister, brotherly love, sisterly love. That is what you need to focus on now. For as time continues to move on here, and the frequency vibration continues to rise and rise and rise, and rising it is at this time across the collective, consciousness is raising. People are awakening everywhere. It may not seem so because there are still so many that are fast asleep in their slumber. But even they at one time or another show more and more awakened, maybe not fully to an ascension level but they will come to an awakening which will create a reverberation across the entire collective consciousness and a full awakening of more and more of those that still yet sleep. It is not up to you, each individual, to help those that are yet asleep. It is up to you, though, to assist those that are ready to be assisted, that are waiting to be guided. Just as we can only guide those of you that are ready for the guidance. We cannot guide those that are asleep those that do not know of even who we are, or recognize that we are anything beyond what they are. So allow yourselves to focus more and more and more in the now moment, and do not hold on to the past. The past is exactly that, the past. The future has not yet been written. And you, right now, are the ones that are writing that future. You are the ones that are creating the new golden age of Gaia. I am Sananda and I leave you now in peace and love and oneness, and that you continue to create, manifest, exactly what you want the new world to be like. One Who Serves, channeled by James McConnell, O.M., Mani, Padme, Hum, O.M., Mani, 
Padme, hum, hum, hum. Greetings to you. One who serves here. Shoshana is here. Greetings to you. One who serves here, Shoshana is here, and we are ready to assist and guide in whatever way that we can as we continue this program, this program of training that we have been working diligently with all of you on, all of you that are on these calls, and all of you also that resonate to our words, our guidance, our desire to be of service to you. Just as you will at some time be ready to be of service to others. Some of you are elite doing that now and do not even know that you are, because instantly with your thoughts you are being of service to the collective consciousness. If you are having positive, joyful, high vibrational thoughts, you are being of service to the galactics. So know that. It is not so important that you be important in terms of being famous or being one that everyone knows who you are, that is not what is important now. What is important are your thought processes, your thoughts, your visions, your creations, all of that is what is important. So you, just being who you are, and continuing every moment that you are aware that you raise your vibrational frequency and be in the moment, you are then doing a great service to the rest of mankind. We are ready for your questions if you have them. Guest, yes, I have a question. OWS, yes? Guest, I was reading a channeled message from Prime Creator the other day which said, Many of you are not taking our advice seriously of stopping the consumption of flesh, including fish. You are not going to ascend when you are eating someone else's consciousness. Would you comment on that, please? OWS, what we can tell you is yes, that would be the most beneficial to give up the eating of animal flesh, and all of this. But if it goes against what your body is calling for, then it will not be helpful to you at this point. That is a conscious level decision, or consciousness level decision. And it cannot be expedited, we will say here, if the body is not ready for it. Now, if the consciousness is high, then the need for that animal flesh becomes less and less, so the body does not call for it, you see? But the ones that have become what you call vegetarians, when before they are ready to do so, have difficulty in doing that, because the body, again, is not ready for it. So the consciousness and the body must work together here, you see? Shoshana, do you have anything to add here? Shoshana, Joanna's Higher Self, channeled by Joanna McConnell, we do not. OWS, very good. Was this sufficient for you? Guest, yes. Thank you very much. Cheers. OWS, very good. Would there be other questions here? Guest, I have a question. OWS, yes? Guest, I would like to see if you could comment about I've been reading a lot about the weather conditions that have been going on around the world. Like right now, there are huge earthquakes and volcanoes erupting in Iceland, and there's flooding in the Middle East. I was just reading about Mecca getting flooded, which seems strange being in the desert where it's happening. There's just so much. So much. Is it triggered by the dark side? Or is it just Mother Nature's clean-up time? Could you comment on that? OWS, we would say that it is a combination of both. There is, as you say, Mother Nature, Gaia clean-up times where Gaia as her higher vibrations continue to increase, then it is a releasing of the old energies that are no longer needed. So that is volcanoes and earthquakes and things of this nature. But there are also those of the dark forces that are using their technology to create havoc wherever they can, to create fear in the populace that is there. And that is, again, a combination of what is happening. Sometimes it is simply Mother Nature doing her thing. And the idea of climate change, and global warming, and these types of things are all a part of what you would call a PSYOP from the deep state cabal, the Illuminati, the dark forces. They are the ones that are precipitating the various floods and can even trigger earthquakes, and things of this nature, 
and of course those fires that occur that were not naturally created. They were created by their technology of their weapons of destruction, you would say. So, again, a combination here. Shoshana, do you have anything to add here? Shoshana, we do not. OWS, very good. Was this sufficient for you? Guest, yes. Thank you. OWS, yes. Would there be other questions here? Guest, greetings. I do address our message from our beloved brother Archangel Michael explaining that there had been a great battle and a great victory, and that all negative entities have been pushed outside of the galaxy, and that all that remain now on Earth are just humans and clones. Would you please comment on this event? Thank you. OWS, we would say that that is largely correct in those of the Archonic realm, you might say, have indeed been, as you say, pushed away. They have been taken off of the world and are no longer allowed to continue to influence those. But there are what you would call the minions, those of the ones that you know of, and some that you do not yet know of, that are continuing to attempt to run the show, to control the world, and all of this, to control the population of the world. And they are still there to be dealt with, you might say, for they have been given the opportunity to turn to the light, but many have not yet done so and likely may not do so as well. But those of what you would call the extraterrestrial races have been banished, those of the dark forces have been banished from this realm here, both from the third dimensional realm as well as the astral realm also. So the influences that are here now are simply those, again, of what is left, those of the minions of those of the dark forces. Does this assist you? And Shoshana, do you have anything to add? Shoshana, we agree with you. We cannot add to this. We agree. OWS, very good. Was this sufficient for you, dear Moses? Guest, thank you. Just one more, what can we do to assist to clean up the minions now that we've received so much assistance? What can we do to rid ourselves of these last issues? OWS, stay out of fear completely. Stay out of fear. Stay out of the third dimensional illusionary expression. See it as a movie, as we have been saying for some time now. Do not become attached to anything that is happening around the world. Be aware of it, if you will, but do not be attached. And if you do that, and keep your thoughts positive as much as you possibly can, and keep your vibrations high then you are doing much to release the rest of mankind from the old 3D paradigm. Okay? Shoshana? Shoshana, we will add here. May we add, dear brother? Guest, yes, thank you. Shoshana, everything that one who serves has given is a great answer. But we will add here that it is important that you do not comply, and that you do not engage. And in the process of not complying and not engaging, you are influencing others to do the same. The job of the light workers is to influence others to come to the light, to understand their greatness, to understand their divinity, and that they are empowered to live their lives joyfully and lovingly, and that they, each one, is imbued with the source itself, you see. So your job as a light worker is to be an influence. And as your influence spreads, and the influence of others spread, those that are evil that are part of the evil movement, will not stand. They will not be able to exist in your world, you see. Namaste. OWS, very good. Then would there be any further question before we release channel? Guest, I have a question. OWS, yes. We take one more, and then we release. Guest. I saw some Delta airplane crew flying around my area in southern Ontario. I have basically grown up in this area and have never seen that before. Is there a significance to that? OWS, please repeat the first part of that. What was it that you have seen? Guest, military airplanes buzzing around. OWS, and you wish to know what about them? 
guessed, the significance. I've never seen that before, and if there is any particular significance in seeing that now just after the EBS across Canada? OWS, after the EBS? What was that you said? We have difficulty understanding what it is you are looking for here. There are military planes in your area and you are concerned about that, is that the question? Guest, no, I'm sorry, not concerned. I just hadn't seen them before, so I wondered if there was any significance to seeing them now. OWS, what we're finding is that this happenstance or this occurrence is happening in many places across the planet where those are types of sightings are happening more and more. And people wonder why this is here, and why this is happening over here. It is nothing at this point to be concerned about, other than it is the beginning, we will say here of those coming together more and more in terms of various militaries across the planet. So not only in your country, in Canada, or in this country of the United States, but in many countries across the planet there is the gathering, we will say, or the coming together of those military forces that are being trained and ready to move ahead in a special operation. There is very likely to occur. We will not say it will occur but it is at this point very likely to occur where there will be a gathering across the planet of more of the military forces not for war, but to bring peace. That I all we can say on this at this point, but that is taking your question quite further here from not just in your own specific area there, but across the planet, as we say here. Shoshana, do you have anything to add? Shoshana, we do not. We do not add to this. OWS, very good. Then we are done for the time. Shoshana, do you have any parting message? Shoshana, we do not. OWS, then we will just say, as your discussion earlier, continue as much as you possibly can to be in the moment all the time. Do not focus on the past. Do not live in the past. Do not dwell in the past. And do not only look toward the future. As if you continue to look toward the future, then what you are creating now will not be what you are wanting to create. That is all we can say on that. Shanti. Peace be with you. Be the one. Channeled by James McConnell.